Russian President Vladimir Putin met with Equatorial Guinea's President Teodoro Obiang Ngema in Moscow. Putin said Russia has been successfully cooperating with oil-rich Equatorial Guinea in the Gas Exporting Countries Forum and the OPEC+. Our common task, of course, is to stabilize world energy markets, Putin said. The two leaders will discuss bilateral ties as well as the current international and regional topics, the Kremlin said. Дорогие друзья, еще раз всех вас приветствую в Москве. А свое выступление стало заметной частью международной энергетической повестки. На этом мероприятии ваша страна является нашим партнером и в организации производителей газа, экспортеров газа, и в ОПЕК+. Мы сотрудничаем давно с секретарем Венеи и успешно. Нашей общей задачей, безусловно, является стабилизация мировых энергетических рынков и в целом вместе с партнерами в рамках этих организаций нам удается эту задачу достаточно эффективно решать. Human-caused climate change doubled the likelihood and intensified the heavy rains that led to devastating flooding in Central Europe earlier this month, a new flash study found. Torrential rain in mid-September from Storm Boris pummeled a large part of Central Europe, including Romania, Poland, Czechia, Austria, Hungary, Slovakia and Germany, and caused widespread damage. The floods killed 24 people, damaged bridges, submerged cars, left towns without power and in need of significant infrastructure repairs. The severe four-day rainfall was, by far, the heaviest ever recorded in Central Europe and twice as likely because of warming from the burning of coal, oil and natural gas, World Weather Attribution, a collection of scientists that run rapid climate attribution studies, said Wednesday from Europe. Climate change also made the rains between 7% and 20% more intense, the study found. To test the influence of human-caused climate change, the team of scientists analyzed weather data and used climate models to compare how such events have changed since cooler pre-industrial times to today. Such models simulate a world without the current 1.3 degrees Celsius of global warming since pre-industrial times, and see how likely a rainfall event that severe would be in such a world. The study analyzed four-day rainfall events, focusing on the countries that felt severe impacts. Though the rapid study hasn't been peer-reviewed, it follows scientifically accepted techniques. In any climate, you would expect to occasionally see records broken, said Friedrich Otto, an Imperial College, London, climate scientist who coordinates the attribution study team. But, to see records being broken by such large margins, that is really the fingerprint of climate change. And that is only something that we see in a warming world. Some of the most severe impacts were felt in the Polish-Czech border region and Austria, mainly in urban areas along major rivers. The study noted that the death toll from this month's flooding was considerably lower than during catastrophic floods in the region in 1997 and 2002. Still, infrastructure and emergency management systems were overwhelmed in many cases and will require billions of euros to fix. The World Weather Attribution Group launched in 2015 largely due to frustration that it took so long to determine whether climate change was behind an extreme weather event. Studies like theirs, within attribution science, use real-world weather observations and computer modeling to determine the likelihood of a particular happening before and after climate change, and whether global warming affected its intensity.
In this study, we looked at how human-induced climate change, um, so caused by the burning of oil, coal and gas, um, has increased the likelihood and intensity of the rainfall that caused these floods. And we found that um, climate change approximately doubled the likelihood of such an event to occur and that the intensity increased by something between 7 and 20 percent. Ja chcem ísť povedať do stupavy, lebo tam ten kaštiel je vraj, že úplne zaplavený. If you look at just Austria, which is a part of the region that was affected, there the record really uh, was twice as high as the previous one. And while in, in any climate you would expect to occasionally see records broken, to see records being broken by such large margins, that is really the fingerprint of climate change. That is only something that we see in a warming world. We also looked at the role of the vulnerability and preparedness and we found on the one hand that the death toll is actually much lower than it was with previous events even though the rainfall and the flooding was more intense and that is a result of better early warning systems and that people have actually been evacuated which is good news. But on the bad news side, there had also been plans after the flooding earlier this century to um, renaturalize rivers, to have flood plains that are not inhabited so, and have better flood defenses. And these plans have not been put into place. And therefore, um, yeah, the economic damages and the disruption to people's lives and livelihoods have been huge because these adaptation measures have not been put into place.